Hi, I'm Hanis. My name is Hein, and we did the structural, modal, and harmonic response analysis of an engine mount bracket. Just a brief background about our design. It is an engine mount bracket that is found in the Volkswagen Jetta MK4 VR6. The main tests for this engine mount bracket are to secure the position of the engine or gearbox assembly, to act as a support function for absorption of the weight forces, to act as a noise insulation for vehicle, to provide support for forces and moments that is occur when driving, and to dampen the shocks and vibrations caused by the road surface. Overall, the engine mounts are the primary connecting link between the engine unit and the chassis or body. We performed a static structural, modal, and harmonic response analysis on the engine mount bracket. Then we compared different materials and determined the best material necessary. The materials we tested and compared are aluminum, magnesium, gray cast iron, and structural steel. Additionally, we studied the design failure criteria by analyzing the total deformation occurred when the engine mount bracket is subjected to a thousand newtons of force. By using the NX software, we are able to design the engine mount bracket and further analyze it from there. Just like we mentioned before, four different materials are chosen for this project. The yield strength for each of the materials are presented in the table. Here, we have specified the load of the each three holes connected to the engine of the car to be 333 newton force. For the boundary condition, we have fixed the support at the frame of the vehicle body. For all of the materials, the deformation occurs at the part that is connected to the engine. As seen in the animation, the deformation is more at the end of the bracket due to the fact that the maximum load application is being concentrated in that region. In the study, all the stress obtained are less than the yield strength of each of the materials. This removed the abuse load case, which normally is being delivered through bumpy road, the engine, and the suspension. As you can see in the animation, maximum stress occurs near the connection between the bracket and the frame of the vehicle due to the fact that this is the thinnest part. Modal analysis helps to determine the vibration characteristics of a structure or particular component in the form of natural frequencies and mode shapes. From this analysis, we can conclude that aluminum has the highest first natural frequency, followed by magnesium, gray cast iron, and structural steel. The difference is due to the different densities of each of the elements. This shows the mode of frequency from 1 to 6 and their deformation. From the study of the total deformation of each mode, we found out that gray cast iron and structural steel has the least deformation when subjected to the corresponding frequencies, followed by aluminum, then magnesium. Harmonic response analysis gives us the ability to predict the sustained dynamic behavior of our structures. The frequency of the analysis is set to a range of 1 to 150 Hz and at a dampening ratio at 0 0.02. For all the materials, the deformation is set to be at the Z direction. Here, stainless steel is believed to have the smallest deformation compared to the other three materials where the maximum deformation is 1.979 mm at the frequency of 100 Hz. Further improvements can be made to make sure that the device works with the highest performance rate. Such improvements that can be made will be increasing payload in some areas to avoid any stress concentration and increasing the material thickness while maintaining their weight. For the conclusion, the results obtained for the static structural and modal analysis have shown that the gray cast iron is better than the other materials. The first fundamental natural frequency of gray cast iron is 99.3 Hz, which is considered high but is still an acceptable frequency range of the engine. Next, the gray cast iron has the lowest total deformation, which is 0 0.13707 mm when subjected to 1000 newtons of force. The other relevant reason for choosing gray cast iron would be because it has high density, longer life, and can withstand corrosion.